Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use this name mucin with the exfoliant. This may be an AHA like glycolic or lactic acid or BHA salicylic acid. Now it's completely fine to use them in the same routine. Your snail mucin can be used daily in the morning and or evening, whereas with the exfoliant it should be used ideally in your evening skincare routine. Now what you have to keep in mind is the frequency of your exfoliant. So generally speaking, start off by using it two to three times per week, then move up to every other day and then even up to daily if that's fine for your skin and if you feel the need of exfoliating the skin that often. Now, when it comes to your AHA, primarily with glycolic acid, if you have a glycolic acid toner essence, maybe even zone that's below 10%, um, you shouldn't have an issue with it by using it daily fairly quickly. Same would apply to a lactic acid. But if your glycolic acid exfoliant has a percentage that's above 10%, then you really have to keep an eye on the frequency as it is more likely to create sensitivity. As for your salicylic acid, if it's 2% or below 2%, you shouldn't have an issue by using it daily if you feel the need of using it that often. Now, this would be like just a general summary of how you can work with the exfoliant. Now I wanna head into the example routine that I have prepared for you, and then we are moving on to the application. So you can see the example routine right here. We are going to go with an evening skincare routine, as this is how I suggest you are working with the exfoliant. So you're working with, first of all, a non-exfoliating acid cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. This can be a regular cleanser. However, if you have one stub and sunscreen and or makeup throughout the day, you can also use an oil or balm cleanser on its own or you may want to do a double cleanse. Then after that make sure to properly rinse it off the skin, pat the skin dry and then we're heading into the exfoliant. Apply your exfoliant to the skin all over, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off and then follow on with your snail mucin. Apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin and you can stop right there and leave it as it is if it feels already hydrating enough. However, depending on your skin type, depending on the exfoliant that you may have picked, if you should come across a bit of dryness, you can use a moisturizer on top of it. And then again, apply it to the skin, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then here, there you have it for the entire evening skincare routine. Now, if you wanna go over a specific example, morning and evening skincare routine, you wanna go over it in your own time, plus wanna see a more detailed sunscreen guide, not only when you should wear it, but also how you can apply it and remove it, plus a general skincare tips guide, and lastly, also the product description part. This is basically all the products that I have listed in my example routines that you can find in a list, where next to it, you have a little description next to it um, of, of of for whom it is suitable and what it does to the skin. And so you will be able to find the entire PowerPoint in the description box down below. But now I wanna keep my focus on the entire application. I have the setup right here behind me and we're going to get started with the first step, which is washing the face. And so again, make sure that you're using a non-exfoliating acid cleanser because we're already using an exfoliant in that same routine. We do not wanna over exfoliate the skin. We do not wanna irritate the skin. So as an example, I'm going to use Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser. When working with a cleanser that you're going to use with water, make sure to use lukewarm water to warm water so that it feels comfortable on the skin, that you can properly massage it all over and later on rinse it off. Since I'm doing the demonstration above the sink, I also can highly recommend to use a soft, clean microfiber washcloth in between that you're going to wet, squeeze out, and this can help you to properly remove any last traces of your cleanser, sunscreen, and or makeup, because you may not be able to properly take it all off the skin by just using your hands. And this is primarily when doing this above the sink, not necessarily in the shower. And so I'm now going to get started with washing the face.
So now go ahead, take a clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the remaining water drops on the skin surface. In general, avoid applying your leave-on products to wet skin. So once you're done with your cleansing step, if you like to, you can immediately now move on to your exfoliant and apply it to the skin. However, if sensitivity should occur because you applied it too soon after your cleansing step, you can always wait between five to 10 minutes in between, which helps the skin to dry even further. And then when applying the exfoliant to the skin, it is less likely to cause sensitivity as it is able to slower penetrate into the skin. So there are two ways on how you can now continue either immediately or or wait in between see what works best for you and based on that keep on going with that like routine basically so now when it comes to the exfoliant there are several ones on the market the most common ones would be exfoliating as a toners essence or zones i have some examples right here and i'm going to use the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution now when it comes to a general guide with your toner as well as with the exfoliating essence you can use that one on a cotton pad dampen your cotton pad just make sure that it's not overly like soaked up so that it's not dripping wet and then you can swipe it across your face and or neck if you're going to apply it with your hands use between five to eight maybe five to ten drops for your face and neck and then there you have it and as for an exfoliating acid essence with a pump use between one to two pumps for a zoom that has a thicker stickier texture use between three to five drops so you have everything um, when it comes to how much you should use in the powerpoint if you want to read through this again so i'm going to use now the exfoliating acid toner in the palm of my hand and i'm going to do the application with the hands while applying it to the skin avoid applying it to your eyelids avoid your lips and depending on the exfoliant as well as the percentage primarily with glycolic acid be careful with your eye contour you you want to avoid that part if the strength is quite potent with lactic acid or salicylic acid this is usually not really an issue then rub your hands together or maybe your fingertips and then gently blend it all over So, and once you have applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. You can always give it about 30 seconds to a minute in between so that the product can fully absorb into the skin before moving on to the next step. So now this next step is going to be your snail mucin. So with your essence, since it has a pump, the general guide would be use between one to two pumps for your face and neck. Use it on your fingertips, rub your fingers together and then apply it evenly all over, basically on top of your exfoliant. But again, remember the products should be able to always properly absorb into the skin before layering the next one on top. And now leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. So again, as I've mentioned already earlier, you now can stop right here. If you feel like it's hydrating enough, depending on your skin type as well as your overall needs, it's completely fine to just use your exfoliant and your snail essence on its own and then there you have it. However, if you feel the need of now following with a moisturizer afterwards, go ahead and do so. Make sure that it's working well for your skin type and overall needs. As an example, I have right here Geek and Gorgeous Hydration Station. So when working with a moisturizer, in general, use about a pea to a bean size amount, primarily if you are layering like multiple products in the same routine. So you always want to make sure that you're using less product of each so they can absorb into the skin and then it layers properly. Otherwise, it may feel uncomfortable on the skin or cause layering issues such as for example pilling. Then rub your moisturizer between your fingers and apply it evenly all over. So 
So, and once you have applied your moisturizer, there you have it. Again, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then this would be an example evening skincare routine. Now remember, in the evening, there's no need to follow with sunscreen afterwards. However, during daytime, if you just go by your usual morning skincare routine, your sunscreen is going to be the last step which helps protect the skin, especially since you're working with an exfoliant in the evening, which can make the skin sensitive to the sun, meaning it's going to get a sunburn much faster. So therefore, protect during the day is really important and then there you have it this is what I wanted to share with you I do hope that you enjoyed this video if you did so please don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it if you now want to learn more about skincare though like maybe even the ordinary products Cosorex I have several videos on my channel and I'm going to leave some of them at the end of this video or check out my youtube channel for more content thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one happy skin caring bye